back like we never left what is good everybody today we delve into a common trend in questions i've been getting asked recently going no contact when your ex is already seeing somebody else and you already know how i get down i don't like to waste time and i'm ready to get into it so let's do that right now the rule of thumb should be that you never start a new relationship if you're not even over your last one but see that's irrelevant if it doesn't ring to be true and some people are so blinded by the need to be involved and distracted emotionally that they'll ignore that see it's difficult to do what's necessary in order to heal right so while you may be taking time for yourself because you're upset and hurt by the breakup it doesn't mean that your ex is required to in fact they may not even want to because they have an inherent need to be wanted and validated by another man or woman and deep within that need are possible levels of insecurity that makes them feel as if them jumping immediately into a rebound is what will keep them from feeling that pain you know the relationship person who never gives themselves a chance to breathe after a breakup yet still carry around all of the weight from all of that unhealed trauma they experienced. The trail of broken relationships and the inability to be a great prospective partner for someone because they are still shitty at communicating. Don't bother working through conflict and are selfish enough to likely step out on a relationship because commitment and loyalty isn't a thing that they see as sacred in the first place. But here you are, going no contact, finding out about that new relationship, wondering what the hell will going no contact actually accomplish for you? And it's a whole hell of a lot if you allow it to be. See, no contact is a way of creating transformations, creating value, and building self-confidence you likely lost towards the end of that relationship. The transformation is you seeing the breakup and the relationship from a different perspective than you do now. Seeing all of the great, but also the dysfunction and the disrespect that that new rebound didn't just get here five seconds after the breakup, right? It was well before. Creating value. That's where you begin taking into account that you have the qualities that the right man or woman would absolutely appreciate. Loyal Loyalty, love, compassion, trust, all that shit can't be taken lightly. And just because your ex couldn't see that and took advantage of that, it isn't a reflection on your worth. Oh, and confidence. Of course it takes a hit if you feel broken by a loss of a relationship. You blame yourself. You justify their action. You feel unworthy and like you weren't good enough. But that couldn't be further from the truth. You deserve happiness, peace, and to have someone in your life that will not take advantage of the wonderful qualities that you do possess. Just be sure to use no confidence contact as a tool, a resource of suspense to your advantage. Because in the end, you'll find out so much more about yourself, how you're built, how you can bounce back, and how much better you deserve to be treated than you may have thought you were during the duration of that broken ass relationship. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, become official to the squad. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and become a part of a team that will always push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video but in the meantime have an amazing day stay strong and stay inspired and as always until i see you guys next time peace